Hello everybody and welcome to my first YouTube video. In this uh, video we're going to start up our Python networking playlist. Um, here we're going to be talking about how to set up the environment uh, that we need to actually create this library. So the first thing you're going to need is the Python uh, interpreter. So go to the Python website. All these links will be in the, in the description. And then click on downloads. Go to the latest one, 3.7.4 as of now. Um, and if you need any specific or OS specific details, uh, read these. Um, I'm just going to download the executable installer. I think it's easiest. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to do that. Um, for me, I'm working on mul across multiple computers, and unfortunately, they don't all have the same um, username. So I'm going to customize this because uh, you'll see in the text editor that we use um, the interpret they key continue to ask you um, for a Python path because they save it the path in a settings file and if that's different across the multiple computers they're gonna keep asking for it every single time. So I'm just gonna take it out of my user account and I'm gonna store it in the program files. I'm not sure what the equivalent is on Mac um, but that's what it is right now. So C port program files and then Python Python 37. Go ahead and install and I'll see you guys when that's done. Alright, so Python was uh, successfully installed, so um, we can close out of that, and now to verify that it's installed, we're going to go to the command line, um, and now we're going to we're gonna try and, uh, we're just going to make sure that it installs, so go and type in Python. Um, if this do had, does not work, uh, check your path, it might not have been added, try reinstalling it. Um, but make sure that uh, it's added to your path variable. So this is the Python command line you can run. Uh, Python commands from it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do print hello world. No, it's a classic one. And it prints hello world. So yeah, that's Python. Um, and now we got to uh, install a text editor. Um, so I prefer to do Visual Studio Code. It's relatively lightweight. I don't need a Python IDE because as you can see, I can simply run it from the command line, and creating a batch file is very simple. Uh, so I'm going to go to this code.visualstudio.com. This link will also be in the description, and I'm going to download it for Windows. Um, and click, yeah, it's over here. So, yeah, let's let this finish up in just a second. There it is. All right, so I'm opening this. Um, I accept. Next, uh, create a desktop if you want. Um, should add to path because uh, you can actually open the Visual Studio code from a command line, which is pretty nice. Uh, click next and then install. All right, so Visual Studio uh, has installed and we're just gonna launch it right now. Um, so I do have a repository online uh, I'm just going to go to GitHub Desktop and actually uh, clone it. So clone repository. I'm just going to go to YT Library. This is on my GitHub. This will also be in a link in the description. So I'm just going to clone it. I can exit out of that now. I'm going to open a folder. Uh, no, not that. Uh, here. And YT Library. All right. So uh, this is the repository. Um, we're going to have a lot of, I'm going to put a lot of uh, libraries for each language here, so it can just all be centralized. If you don't like the style, you don't have to do it, but that's just how I'm going to do it. So Python, and then the package name for the Python will just be Michael G. And we're going to be doing the networking in this series, so networking, um, sockets, and then we are going to be doing a server and a client in the series, and those are going to be two separate things. So a server folder, and then a client folder. All right, so that is all for the setup. Um, in the next video, we'll actually be creating the server um, and the several files that come with that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that video. Thanks for watching.